what's up you guys welcome back to another cleaning vlog my name is nia if you are new here and this week was definitely a busy one i had so many different calls and things to do for work so really trying to balance like work and everyday life was a bit of a struggle but before we get started i wanted to say a huge thank you to caraway for sponsoring this portion of the video caraway sells 100 percent non-toxic ceramic cookware that are non-stick and have stainless steel handles with so many different beautiful colors to choose from that will fit your aesthetic and style I decided to get the set in gray, which you guys are seeing me unbox right now. And this set comes with a frying pan, a three quart saucepan, 4.5 quart saute pan, and a 6.5 Dutch oven. I'm so excited to use these in my kitchen. One of the other things that I think is absolutely amazing is this set comes with organizers at no additional cost, allowing you to keep your pots and pans neat and organized. These are an investment in your kitchen and your health, and I have a discounted code linked down below for you guys where you can save 10% off your order today. And thank you to Caraway for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right guys, so I'm starting off in my living room and dining area. This week I was taking it easy at the gym because I'm still not feeling 100% better and I want to take it easy and just make sure that I get better before I try and push myself into the gym. During my lunch break, I'm basically just going to be using this time to tidy up and clean and get things done around my place. So right now I'm just cleaning up the dining area. We were doing crafts. I had also ran to the store to grab some snacks and things like that for Riley's lunch bag. So I need to put all of those things away, clean this countertop and organize the snack drawer just a little bit. I literally just got a new package and a new piece 
that I purchased off of Amazon, which I want to unbox with you guys really quick. We have a little bit of cleaning to get done. And then when Riley gets back from school, um, I think we're going to work on the bats. Did I? I feel like I shared it with you guys. I don't know. Let me see if I can find them. Okay. So these are the goodies that we got from the Target dollar section. I don't know if they're still there, but definitely go check your Target. They had these cute paper bats. So we got two of these because it's a 12 count. And I guess depending on, they have like different sizes, if you guys can see. Um, so I would like to put them on the door. I thought that would be pretty cute. Um, and then we did this like a couple years ago i can't even remember i will find that video and link it up top for you guys it was a fun diy that we did and then also we got some black glitter so that's what i'm hoping she'll want to do later today when she gets home and then we did also get two packs of these like wall cling things those reusable window gel stuff so um Maybe we'll like decorate the windows and all of that kind of stuff. So that should be fun. But let's open this package. Well, actually, before we open the package, I need to throw some laundry in and probably tidy up the kitchen. So let's do that first and then let's open the package because I'm super excited. I'm hoping that it is what I have wanted. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be not in
All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I got a new ottoman. Now, I'm starting to second guess myself. I thought that this print was gonna be a little bit closer to that. Like, as you guys can see, like through the camera, it looks very similar, and it is, but this is definitely more like white, white, and I thought it was gonna be more of like a tan white, kind of like the couch. Um, I did look online, as you guys can see, um, there is like more of like a tan or like beige-ish kind of color. It's looking more like that color, ooh, that color <laughs> of the, like the cabinet. So I'm almost thinking like, do I go with that color or do I keep it with the white? I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is put on the legs, see how that goes and let it sit for a couple days but let me know what you guys think down below do you guys think i should exchange it for the darker color i'll also put it up on the screen so you guys can get a better look or do you think i should keep the cream and white i don't know let's see but i definitely wanted a smaller one all the ones that i've seen at home goods and like home sense and all that kind of stuff were like 36 by 36 inches and that's like way too big for the space like if i had like a bigger living area i think it would be perfect but i think this space just needs a nice little small one and i was really looking for one that gave me some storage because you guys know i don't really have that much storage and then i also like sometimes i'm just like watching tv and i want to be able to prop my feet up on something so i think this is perfect i'm just like second guessing the color a little bit. So just let me know what you guys think down below. So this is what it looks like and from this I guess like angle you guys can see it you know the ottoman is definitely a lot a little bit lighter than what the couch is but I'm not sure like I don't mind the contrast it doesn't have to match exactly I thought it would match um, fairly closely but I'm almost thinking about going with the darker one so because at least the contrast is like a little bit darker if that makes sense, I don't really know. But let me know what you guys think. I am I like the size of it. I like the fact that it's not too big. I like the fact that it has, you know, some extra storage so I can put stuff in there. It's just more of the coloring. Okay, so there are about 12 bats in here. And then it does come with, like, a piece of paper with, like, stickies on them. So I thought that was pretty um, good because then I don't have to worry about using tape. So basically what I'm going to do is just add some Mod Podge onto them and then this black glitter. Riley doesn't seem to be interested so we're just going to do this craft on our own. What's up you guys? So I just got back from dropping Riley off to 
school. Um, it's definitely going to be a busy day today. We actually have um, back to school night, so that should be fun. But she also has been doing gymnastics for, what, about like three weeks? This will be her third week. So I actually have to drive to my mom's house to drop her off right after school, come back up here, and go to parent-teacher night. So it's definitely going to be a busy one. I know I have like a ton of back-to-back -back calls today, so... I don't know how much stuff I'm really going to be able to get done, but um, I did <sighs> want to give you guys an update on the ottoman. Don't mind. It's not that much of a mess, but I still need to clean up from the morning rush. So what I decided to do is I decided to place the order for the darker one um, just because I was going to sit with this one for a while like I mentioned to you guys the other day. However, I realized there's a hole in it. So regardless, I do not want to keep it because there's a hole in it and like yes, it's not that big of a hole but... If I'm going to spend money on something, I don't want a hole in it. So I just decided to place an order for the darker one. So that should be here on Friday. And Riley absolutely loves it. Like She has been jumping off of this ottoman onto that couch all night last night, hiding underneath it, in there, like all this stuff. So I had to keep telling her, I'm like, look, girl, we do not own this anymore. I am returning it. She likes the white. Um, and was upset when I told her I was getting the darker one and she d honestly didn't even care about the hole. But I'm like, look, I don't like that because I spent money on this and I don't want to have a hole in the stuff because the hole can only get bigger. And it's just like, an, not saying an eyesore because it's not that big, but you know what I'm saying. So, um, I'm going to quickly just do our morning cleanup and then I'm hoping I can do my devotional and gratitude journal i really didn't get a chance to do that this morning um so i'm gonna see if i can try and quickly do that get some water and then head to my first call of the day i got this feeling like it's starting now starting now i feel adventurous with you these are what the bats are looking like. I didn't get a chance to finish all of them last night because we were doing some homework and all of that kind of stuff. But what I did is I started to form the wings. So I'm hoping I get like 15 minutes that I can finish them up, let them dry. And then if we can hang them on this wall, I thought that would be nice just because like we have nothing going on on this wall right now. And then the other pack I will use for the door. I might see if I can stop off at Target to get one more pack. Um, but I'm going to see after I put the first one up um, on the wall, see how much, like how that looks. And then if I need another pack to, you know, maybe put on the door or something like that or maybe get another two packs and like really make it a dramatic wall I don't know we'll see but I don't want to use these on this wall and then we don't have anything left for the front door Riley really wants to do the front door and this is how many I still have left to do I'm not even going to worry about this table right now um I do need to clean this up at some point um, we were playing with sand last night and Riley spilt a bunch of sand on them. Maybe if, if I even get a chance to like wash them, it's been a little bit of time since I've had them. Um, that would be good, but I have about 10 minutes before my call. So I need to get some water. And then also I haven't even had a chance to take um, the Bellway fiber. So I want to do that. I'm really just trying to stick to, you know, being healthy and doing things that I know my body needs and getting enough fiber to keep my body feeling full and all that stuff really does help. So let's get that done really quick and get to work. It's all about you. 
just got off of my last call y'all today has been busy i literally had like maybe a half an hour to grab some food and then back to the phone call so i will say one of the things with this new job is definitely the fact of like all the calls that i'm on which is good because it's stretching me which is the point of me in this new job but anyways i have about 15 minutes i need to quickly pack riley's gymnastics bag so i can go pick her up take her to my mom's come back here and make it to parent teacher night so let's get this going I usually like to just use this little bag um, and then I'm not quite sure which outfit she wants to wear she's already worn this before she's worn both of the ones that I got off of Amazon before um, but I'm not sure if she wants to wear the one grandma got her so I'm giving her two options because we don't have time and if you guys know a toddler they can quickly change their mind so I always have backup. Um, so I usually do that. Um, she already has her water in the car. Well, not in the car. In her book bag. Because she needs some water. I need to put her... I need to get her... Um, her Crocs. Ugh. These. Let me just put everything, honestly, right near the door. So there's no possible way I can forget about it and then i also need to make a or grab a snack for her because we are going to be in the car a little bit later and i have no idea what to get her oh maybe we'll do do maybe regular doritos or even the Cool Ranch Doritos, let me know which one is your favorite. Are you guys a Cool Ranch or a regular Dorito kind of girl? I'm definitely regular. I don't like all that extra nonsense, that Cool Ranch stuff. Then probably do, we already did cheese already. Maybe I'll just do like a, a yogurt drink, but I will, I still have a little bit more time. So I will put the yogurt drink to the front and the top and she can have that so that we should be good um but i got about 10 minutes so i'm gonna sit here and i'm going to get a little bit more work done and actually i need to get my laptop and then also um get a little bit of work done relax a little bit watch a show because i haven't got a chance to do that all day long Y'all, I hate these busy days. I really, really, really hate these busy days. Um, but I will say, so there is a guy at my job, like my new job, and we actually worked together at my old job. So, um, so he had just hit his one year at the company, at the new company that we both now work at. And so he was like, oh, I wanted to hit you up and just see how you were doing. You know, I just hit my one year and it just made me think about you because I know how it feels to start someplace new. And, you know, it was so nice and thoughtful of him to even reach out because I feel like a lot of the time, sometimes we will say we'll reach out to somebody and then like, I don't know life happens and then we don't um but he just wanted to check on me and he was just and i just explained that like there are some days where i feel like i'm starting to get the hang of this like okay like pat myself on the back like i know what to do or how to respond or you know anything like that i was like but then there's other days where i have absolutely no idea what is going on what people are saying it's over my head i'm like oh and it kicks me right back down and makes me think like, oh, did I make this right decision? And funny enough, as I was writing that, he responded back. He's like, because, you know, in the beginning, I felt like imposter syndrome. He's like, I had I was heavy on the imposter syndrome, like syndrome, like you guys hired the wrong guy. And I don't know if I belong here because it's completely different than our old job. And I was like, oh my God, like that is exactly how I feel. Like 
when are they going to find out that they hired the wrong girl like you know what i mean and he's just like he just started laughing and he's like no he's just like that is such a normal feeling he's like once you're like three or four months in he's just like you're gonna be good and then i also had um a call with my manager and she was just saying she's like yeah when i was new she's like it's a lot of stuff being thrown at you and she's like you know it's gonna take a couple of like quarters it's gonna take a couple months and before you know it you'll just be rattling this stuff off too she's like i know you are gonna pick it up she's like i hired you for a reason you're amazing and all this stuff so it's like sometimes you do need to hear that from somebody else because like I don't know I just get caught up or I'm so used to being that like top girl or the person that everybody comes to about things and I'm just like oh da, 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 I can do this in my sleep type of thing but at the same time I was very comfortable in those positions you know what I mean because it's just something I did on an everyday basis and now it's like starting all over again like it's definitely definitely different but at the same time, this is what I asked for because in these moments where you are being stretched and where you are being challenged, like this is what is going to like make you stronger and make you like who you are. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like those situations and I'm not comparing this new job at all to any like down moments I've had or anybody else has had. But have you ever had those situations where you're just like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I don't know how, like let this be overlord. And then after the fact, when it's all said and done, you're just like, and you look back on like what you've gone through and what you've overcame and you're just like, yes for me like I made that through like or it's kind of like I needed that to learn things about myself for where I am now or you know I needed that to change so that I could be who I am now and it's like at the end of the day a lot of the times we don't ever like regret those hard times when you're in them they suck when you have no idea what you're doing it absolutely sucks but when you keep pushing through you end up surprising yourself you know what i mean like you figure out a way to make it through and then when you've made it through you're just like you're you're happy about the accomplishment and you're also happy about you pushing through and not giving up and not giving up on yourself really you know what i mean that's really what it comes down to like i'm not gonna give up on myself like i know i'm a hard worker i know that you know i can learn and i think also the difference is like this is the first job that i've ever had where like i'm working remote like before it's like oh hey girl like can you help me out with this and the person sitting right next to me or i could quickly walk over to somebody and they could easily just show me something like i'm not gonna lie this whole remote work thing type of stuff like ain't for the faint you know like it well not for the faint it's not for the weak you know what i mean because like you definitely need to be a little bit more on your game you definitely need to be a lot more self-sufficient you need to be a great problem solver and figure things out because if you're gonna sit there and wait for somebody else to show you every little single thing like a remote worker is not for you i can tell you it's it's not for you managing your time like that all falls to you you know what i mean but it is what it is i'm gonna figure this out i'm gonna give myself more time more grace more all of that stuff and you know it is something that i struggle with like you know some days i'm just like so hard on myself and then there's other days where i'm just like chill out like chill out like you got this you know what i mean like you got this you know so I don't know why I was just rambling, practically lost all the time that I was going to just relax. But I just wanted to say that, that if you guys are ever going through imposter syndrome or you feel as if you don't belong in a certain situation, please believe that you would, you are meant to be where you're at. Because if you were not, if you were not meant to be where you're at, God would never have even figured out a way to get you here. So I don't think if God did not believe that I was the right fit or the right person for this specific specific role he would never have even made it happen for me because he has the plan like i know i am definitely a control freak and have been working on you know releasing control and kind of just going by the flow and seeing what life has to offer instead of trying to like control the vision of life 
control life to the way that I want it to look or the way I think that it should look. And it's kind of like, let him take the lead. If he didn't think that I was the right fit, I wouldn't have even gotten this job. The fact that I did get this job, it's going to grow me and it's going to strengthen me and it's going to stretch me and I'm going to win in the end and if I don't he has something else better for me like this is just a little trip in the road type of thing so I try not to stress so much about the future anymore which is crazy I definitely do have my moments but like I don't stress as much as I used to and I think it's just because I am becoming still and focusing on the now and what I can do now and what I'm supposed to be learning in this particular season of my life because if I do not learn the lessons that I'm supposed to be learning in this specific season then I will only come back around to this so whole process all over again so there's always a lesson there's always something that you need to learn there's always something you need to be working on continue to keep growing learning stretching yourself because at the end of the day the last thing when you are on your deathbed you do not want to regret not doing the things that you wish you wanted to do so just go for it what's up you guys <laughs> i feel like it has literally been so busy this week like definitely busier than others um I just haven't had a time chance to do literally anything but today I do have a pretty open schedule which is a little bit nice I definitely need to get some cleaning done so today clearly you guys can see we're in Riley's room so I just want to tidy it up a bit it's honestly not that bad it was bad before where she had like Barbie spread all around the room um but she must have cleaned it up yesterday which I'm so thankful for um so yeah, let's do that. Um, there is a little bit of clothes on her couch that need to be folded. So let's get this tidied up real quick and then we can kind of like catch up. The bats, I'm almost finished. Those are pretty much done. So I'm hoping to be able to put those up today with you guys. So yeah, I also need to like cook a little bit. So, you know, today should be a fun one it's really really cold out like literally today fall is here the high is 65 and when I took Riley to school it was about like 50 degrees so like I dressed her in like a long sleeve dress but she was still freezing cold outside so we came back in and we put some pants underneath her dress and I told her like you know if it happens to get a little bit warmer out um, during the day you can just easily take the pants off so that's why I am wearing my sweater I actually like kind of like like this weather a little bit more than like that hot hot um weather so yeah fall is officially here but let me stop rambling I do want to tidy her room up a bit then hopefully we can put up the bats and then also kind of get some cooking done um during my lunch break because I'm still taking it easy I haven't worked out at all this week um because I feel like I mentioned to you guys I was coming over a cold. I know I mentioned it in the previous video. Um, I'm coming over a cold and I'm still kind of like tired. So I'm not trying to like push myself too much. So I will pick things up next week. So it gives me like a whole hour to kind of get stuff done. So let's get going.
people say, people say, people say I'm going crazy for you, baby Don't know how you're making me feel this way What can I say? That's what I like about you of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue When I lose myself to love All right, guys, so the other day when I was doing my devotional in the morning, it was such a great message that I cannot just keep this to myself. So I wanted to share with you guys what the message was and also give you guys a question to, you know, meditate on or to think about, journal about, all that kind of stuff. And then we will end with a little prayer that will help you if you are struggling with this. Because I know I struggle with it all the time. It's talking about comparison and the scripture is, let's just go ahead and be what we were made to be without enviously or pridely comparing ourselves with each other or trying to be something we aren't. Romans 12, six, and that's from the Message Bible. As hard as it may be to believe what God is doing in the lives of others has absolutely nothing to do with what he is seeking to do in you. Comparison cripples our confidence and compromises our calling. When we obsess about what others are doing, more limiting beliefs enter our mind and the spirit of fear gets to whispering, you're not doing enough, you're behind, it's too late, you're not as talented, your life isn't as pretty, you don't have enough, you just aren't enough. Media images stir up the spirit of comparison every day. We see airbrushed images of children who don't cry and women who wake up with perfect lashes, flawless skin, and lots of vacations. While you're working, trying to pay the bills, keep the kids from tearing each other apart, and somehow squeeze in a bath, it seems as if everyone else is living a perfect life. Remember, the enemy will indeed use anything to exploit an insecurity that already exists. The other danger of comparison is ego. It can lead to competition and arrogance. We can start to feel like we're better than others because our lives seem to be better. Or in an attempt to keep up, we start striving, proving, and showing off. No matter how you slice it or dice it, there is nothing good that comes from comparison. God's wa God wants us to look up and not around. And I know I've talked and shared with you guys about comparison and my struggle with that and how like I do feel as if like we should only be focusing on our path, our journey and not comparing ourselves to what everybody else has going on. And yes, it's a lot easier said than done. Um, so the question that I was journaling about was 
how has comparison crippled your courage, clarity, or confidence? So I just thought that that was a really great question that if you guys are also struggling with this, um, to journal on this and really truly ask yourself that question as to how comparison could be stopping you from your blessings because you're so busy looking at what everybody else is doing that you're not even focused on what you're doing. And then to end this, it says, Lord, keep my eyes focused on you and on the plans you have for me. I will embrace my lane, my gifts, and my assignment. We all want things in life and it can be very hard when we see that others are getting the things that we have been praying for, asking for, and all of that kind of stuff. But we all have our own journey. We all have our own purpose. We all have our own strengths that should be shared with the world. So try not to get caught up with what others are doing and just focus and nurture your own gifts because that's where the blessing truly lies. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I will have this linked. It's in my Amazon storefront under wellness. Um, so that's where you guys can find my devotional. I also put another one that I do have. I haven't started it yet. Well, it's like more of like a Bible study thing. And then also the book in one, the Bible in one year that I've been doing as well as my um, gratitude journal. So if you guys are on your own wellness journey or just trying to be better um definitely go check those things out because i've been heavy on them every single morning during my quiet time and i definitely think that they have made a really big a really big difference in my life so here are the bats i think they look really really nice i'm almost thinking that i need to get um another two packs so i definitely need to head to target today to see if I can get two more packs so that we can put them on the wall and also on the door but this is just one pack it has 12 of them in there and then the only thing I did was I used some Mod Podge and then added some black glitter on them just to kind of make them pop a little bit more um, some of them you can see that the wings um, are giving that kind of like 3D effect so I'm going to show you guys quickly how I did that with these and then we will put them on the wall So this is how it came out. It actually looks a lot nicer than I thought, but I think having one more pack would probably be better. And then, you know, maybe only using like six more, which would be just enough for the door and then also a little bit more added onto the wall. Let me know what you guys think below. I'm hoping that I will be able to find another one at, um, at Target, but you guys know how the Target dollar section is. So... I will probably check there later on tonight. 